Hey everybody, this is Dave Torno, and I'm just going to go over a quick little demo here of Shortcut Key Reference Script. Uh, if you put it in your Script UI Panels folder, you're going to find it underneath the Window Panel here. Whoop. All right, try that again. Uh, it's going to be right down here. Uh, first thing that will pop up is going to be New Features, uh, which is something that you can click and say Don't Show Again. And we'll just hit OK for right now. Uh, the first thing that will pop up is going to be this list box window showing all of the shortcut keys for After Effects. Uh, there's over 620 plus uh, hotkeys, so there's quite a few there to memorize. Um, and this particular script is actually set up so you don't necessarily have to memorize them, but at least you can find the specific ones that you're looking for because uh, I've included a nice little list uh, search here, uh, which if we type in zoom uh, we get a result of anything containing the word zoom so if you were looking for any particular hotkey for like zooming in then you know that the period would be the shortcut for that particular task uh, this is case insensitive so you don't have to worry about capitalization uh, there are no special characters allowed uh, and this is just a limitation due to the search function and how it operates so if you were to put in a illegal character you'll see off to the right there the warning saying that you've basically used something that's not searchable. Um, right now it's a real-time uh, search, uh, which on some machines can be a little slow, depending. Uh, so I've incorporated a secondary option. If you go under the Help menu, we have a real-time version, which is the default uh, manually. We'll flip this over to a button. I'll show you this real quick, to where you can then type in, which the, just a heads up, uh, list box do take over priority of the focus, so you want to make sure that your cursor is in the box the entire time when you're doing a search. Um, doing the manual search, you can type in in real time, and then you just click search, and then it does it for you. So if you're running into slowdown issues, uh, using the manual version uh, can help you speed that up. Uh, another option that I put in here also is a drop-down list version. So you have the option to do just a slim-lined drop-down list. Uh, there is no search feature on this, but it will give you a quick, fast way to get to those and save a little screen space at the same time. So you can dock this like on the top half of your window. Um, so that pretty much covers everything there. Uh, hope you enjoy it.